Alrighty guys, back on our trend of using all our cars as work vehicles. So we have the cheap work van, now we're in the smart car. We're going downtown, we got a service call, so we said, let's go ahead and film in the smart car. We got our toolbox and some parts with us. We installed these new gauges. We're all back to good, we can now red light her. But let's take her downtown and see how a smart car works as a uh, service vehicle. All right, give them a full speed rip onto the highway. Let's hear this bad boy. That's us. Oh, that's, okay. Yeah. There she goes. It's just because she was in, not the best gear for the highway. Now we're ripping. Show her the, uh, the addition we added to the middle of the steering wheel. Yeah, that's right. We got a train horn. Oh yeah, look at that big cement truck compared to our oh, beautiful little car. I mean, why take up so much road when you can literally just bring what you need? We got our toolbox with us, guys. We're at our first stop. Toolbox fits beautiful in this beautiful car. A little less room than the van, though, but more fuel efficient. Like, look, we parked in. Pretty tight spot here. Close tailgate. Right near the door, we walk right in. Don't gotta park the big truck. It's pretty going pretty good so far. And like that, with the smart car, we are able to still perform our service call. The tightest part about driving a truck into a parking garage is getting out of it getting out and look how easy that swings that turn wow